Table two, and uh, Tepchara has won, well, the second frame, so it's 2-0 there. So this is Sean Murphy against Alex Borg, and Sean Murphy leads 1-0. Yeah, Alex had a couple of half chances in that opener as well. He's got another one here. It's not a great break-off shot from uh, Sean Murphy. Oh, mobile phone going off. Well, it would be nice to either answer it or turn it off. Well, it, I just wonder whether that's Neil's uh, alarm call. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got the time zone wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they've caught that mouse from yesterday. That was uh, causing mm. a bit of uh, fun and games in the Judd Trump Graham Dot match. I'm sure they have. He was a lone wolf, wasn't he? Definitely, it definitely wasn't camera shy, that was for sure. It's a great pot, but he always knew that he'd be getting close to that black. Yes, yeah, so there's just too much angle on that red to, uh, to stay on the, the black properly. Might just skim off it for safety. Mm. He's a bit uh, slightly aware that he might just cannon into the reds having hit the black. That could be a little bit dangerous. Let's put the white to the top cushion. Well, as long as he's covered the red that's towards the middle pocket, if he hasn't, that's a poor shot. Well, Sean's looking at the potting angle, so it seems that he can see enough of this. Well, that's a poor shot from Alex if he's left this on. He could see enough of it. That was a little fortunate as well because he would have definitely left the red on down into this left corner pocket and he might have to take the one into the yellow now. Well played. He's got a good angle on the blue here to go into the pack. He chose to go the other way. He's trying to get on this red at the back of the pack. I'm not sure whether he's come far enough. Six. He might have just about got there. Well played. Well, too far for the blue, but a good angle on brown or yellow, again, if he wants to attack the pack. The brown, I think, is favourite. That was a, a mile away. It seemed a little bit edgy as well. Yes, I mean, Murphy he would, would have started favourite anyway, obviously, in this match, but he's a bigger favourite playing on the TV table because there's more pressure there and he's more used to it. This was just a little bit jabby, I think, this brown... We 
know Murphy queuing well. He made 71 in the first frame. Just had a quick look at the angle on the brown here. You could hold the white in such a way to leave an angle on the brown to get into the pack of two cushions. Could come back, well, it can't come back for the blue because, of course, the brown is stopping the, the path of the cue ball into the pack. Hence the position on the brown. Now, I wonder whether he's got the angle to screw directly into these as he watch the replay on the red. There is one that's at the back of the pack that might go. See how he plays this. He might go full-blooded. Is he going round two cushions? Well, he tried to catch them directly. Now, just this red go. This might not be too bad. He could have landed on this red. He definitely tried to split them. 11. But if he's on this red, it's a bonus. Well, it seems not. Sean Murphy, 11. Well, I think that is just about a snooker. Sean sure might be able to just swerve around the yellow on a little bit of side. There's just enough room there. Well, I can't tell you, the world number one over on the other table, we're coming in late. He, he's in trouble in the third as well against Thepchar and New. He's uh, nearly 70 points behind in the third frame. So he's in all sorts of trouble over there. Preparation, eh, David? <laughs> we'll give uh, Neil the benefit. Could have been traffic problems or whatever. Sean Murphy here, though, on the main table, in control at the moment. can't see enough of that red to hit it direct, but he could play one off the other here. Yes, one off the other, down the cushion. It's a big pocket. Well played. Nicely on the black as well. well what, a, what a shot that was and what position he's in now. Talking about preparation, David, I think it was a player once that was in Thailand. Someone had some journey to get there, well, I think it might have been Graham Dot, I think, he trains planes, automobiles, came down from the hotel into the lobby with his suit on, everything ready to play, and all I said, what are you doing, Graham? He said, I'm going to play. He said, it's seven o'clock in the morning, not seven o'clock in the evening. Yeah, that was, uh, that was actually Mark Selby. The, oh, was it? Yeah, the, the, Gra the Graham Dot one, uh, he, because he had to fly from Glasgow to Heathrow and then on to Shanghai, um, 
he missed the first flight was delayed by fog or something and he knocked the whole schedule back to the extent that it took him two days to arrive and by the time he got there he was so tired he slept through his uh, alarm call <laughs> got to the venue, he was docked two frames and, uh, and got beat it took him a while I think to see, to see the funny side of it as well Yeah, no, you're right, Mark Selby was, uh, Mark Selby was seen, he was about one in the morning, I was there, he was about one in the morning, in his dress suit, and someone said, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm playing at two, and they said, yeah, in the afternoon. <laughs> two a.m. <laughs> there you go, that's, that's a professional sport for you when you're flying around the world, in different time zones. Well, he was prepared, he was 12 hours early, so, it, you know, that is good preparation, isn't it? Well, meanwhile, that's a surprising miss. He was going along well there. Particularly having won the first round the way he did, he expected more there than just 16. One. So, uh, another chance for Alex Borg, and uh, if he can just settle down here, put a nice break together, he might get rid of some of those nerves. gone wrong. Six. Might still have this red across the table, but it's a tough pot to take on. There's an alternative one into the right middle. This one across the table looks favoured, but there's no guarantee with this one. Just needs good queuing. Well played. Well, if you can just try and get this frame on the board, he'll feel part of this match. Good pot from there, though. Little controlled cannon into the two reds, perhaps. Well played. Always push one safe and put the other one into the open. Malta's, it's not a huge place, of course, but uh, it's a pretty thriving snooker scene there. It's been, historically, they've played there for many years. Thirteen. Joe Gregg, another player that was on the professional circuit for some years. And we've had uh, a major ranking event <laughs> in Malta for a few years as well. on our calendar recently. Hopefully we can get it back again. As Alex misses the black off the spot, which might prove to be very costly. Yes, he, he was never sort of in absolutely ideal position, was he? And uh, just missed that one. And the danger here, I think, is just going to give Sean Murphy too many chances. Well, I think that you're exactly right, Dave. That's exactly what's going to happen. And Sean will get stronger and stronger. One. That was a lucky kiss, really. Could have finished anywhere. Yes, it's one of those matches. Sometimes, you know, you say you play Ronnie O'Sullivan, you can make one mistake in the frame and you don't get another shot. In this match, you might be able to make three or four from what we've seen so far and still do enough to actually get the win. <laughs> Sean Murphy won the last ranking event in Malta in 2007. Always a very Six. friendly tournament, that. Richard Bellani, the uh, organiser, always made everyone feel welcome. So, uh, as you say, Mike, it'd be nice to revisit the island at some point. Well, if he's listening, <laughs> let's get it on. <laughs> Six. Ah. Not as intended, quite obviously. So a little bit scrappy this frame, Murphy 18 points in front. Sean Murphy, 12. Yes, 3-0 it is to uh, Tep Chire and New over Neil Robertson.
We could do a bringing this red off the side cushion. Let's see that's a few points behind. Well, I think that was an attempted pot. And he's left it on again. Well, he's got a perfect angle here. If he wants to split these two reds a little more, he could just play on the right hand one. It's slightly off the cushion. He's gone full blooded for the cannon. Well, could have been worse. Six. But neither of these are gimmies. Might play the left on one to get out for a colour. Oh, good pot. Settled just for the red though. He's only got a 25 point lead. Looking to put Alex in trouble here. Could play the yellow, try and get him behind the green and the brown. Brown ball. Denominated the brown. Well, he's elected to put the brown safe and try and get the snook as well. That's a very clever shot. He's just he's given himself a little bit of insurance at the end of the frame in case Alex does get a chance. He's only, uh, Sean's only 25 points in the lead here. 35 on. Ooh, that looks a very thin edge. Doesn't fancy it, so he's looking to come off the side cushion. Got to get this safe. The red and the colour will be enough for Sean Murphy. Well, that's why this could be a free ball. Well, I think that will go back. Pushing. The brown, that is. Well, there you are. It's a lot nearer the bolt line. Mm. He's got the red, but has he got things safe? He hasn't. And I think it's about to go 2-0. Because Sean now, with that foul and the last shot from Alex, only needs this red. things are going so far David this could be a 4-0 I'm afraid to say well certainly Borg is gonna have to improve in all areas if it's not going to be was very close to the middle. He, he wanted to take the green on because now that need means that Alex needs two snookers instead of one. But realistically, it should be 2-0. Sean Murphy, four. Murphy does win, he'll play uh, Kieran Wilson, who had a walkover because Robin Holt, Finland, uh, withdrew.
<laughs> well, they appreciated that one. Not sure Alex Borg necessarily did. Well, that is a snooker. And this could be as well. <laughs> Sometimes you know it's not going to be your day. <laughs> no smiles from Sean Murphy, though. He's here to do the business. I didn't quite have the snooker, but that white nearly went in with the side, but might have left this yellow on. And if this goes in, this frame is definitely over. I yeah, just wonder whether I might see a concession from Alex. Well, there's been nothing really spectacular so far, but Sean just picking him off here, really. I'm sure that Alex will sit in his chair or stay in his chair now. Sean Murphy, five hands of Yes, Sean Murphy has done enough to win the second frame. Done what he had to do. And he's now halfway towards victory, 2-0. In a best of seven, we'll be back with more after the break.